have an issue. That's not good. What the heck? I think we're where we're supposed to be, but we got bigger problems than that right now. No air. Thank God it was our secondary tank and not our primaries or we would be stuck back there. All right, let's uh, shut it down and go fix things that we broke. So I was rock crawling my way out here. As you can see, and my truck is very long and very low. So I came over a hump, caught a rock um, on the end of this air tank right here and busted off the uh the bleeder valve um i think i have i can put an air fitting in there Ooh, i can't get that out of there though i don't think i'll be able to get that out but i need an easy out um but i can put an air fitting in there for now and plug it off if that was this tank the primary um see the green line going in there that'd be the primary um we would have been locked up stuck right where we were so Okay, that's the problem. Well, that sucks. Broke my truck. Um, we were coming up here to get uh, this thing here and load it on the truck and haul it out of here. I would have to get up here in front of it and winch it up. I don't know. That thing's so buckled right there, I don't think it'll even hold. So, okay, what do we do about this? We gotta get that out. I gotta figure out how. Luckily it wasn't a fuel tank because they're full right now. Um, this one is that's fuel on that side of that line. That's a line right there. This side is hydraulic. The other one's completely fuel. This truck is not meant for off-roading at all. And I have definitely pushed it quite a few times now. I finally broke something. Granted, it was just an air fitting, but still broken. Okay, let's fix it. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Where is my punch set? I feel like a chisel and a punch would do it. This one is way too long. I thought I had in here. Chisel and punch set that would, I could knock that thing out of there. Stay. Um, this is not ideal. I need you for sure. Uh, I need to redo this whole tool setup because it's not efficient. I'm using two whole boxes for hand tools. They should all just be much more organized than this. Okay. fitting so any I think that fitting right there would actually go back in there and plug that off with this one this would work and because it's a female fitting pressure from this side will seal it so it won't leak out and it'll hold air and then I can air up and keep the air in the truck could be fancy and put a ball valve on there um, not that. Oh, this way around. Duh, dummy. If I did that and then threaded that into the tank, I would still have a drain. But it'd be sticking out a lot bigger to get knocked off. But we're going to do that and I'm just going to be more careful and that's how it's going to be. First, we got to get that stupid thing out of there. Okay, let's go see how this goes. Dear Harbor Freight, I know this is not how your tools are meant to be used.
I don't think that did anything at all, did it? Nope. Okay, of course, of course a hailstorm would start while I'm out here doing this. Why wouldn't it? I have beat the hell out of that thing for quite a while now and gotten absolutely nowhere. So, called Brandon at Elite Fleet. He's gonna, that's not where that goes, don't think I care right now, but he's gonna grab some bolt extractors and head out this way. Wow, okay. Oh man. Oh, yeah, you shouldn't be out here. Woo! Okay, get smart here. Please be right size. Be smarter than the truck. That's a secondary tank. We don't need it. Uh, this is the supply line to the tank. So now if we start the truck. This is, there's the supply trying to feed the tank. No more air leak. Now, we should see. These gauges start to come up. Well, this one. There it goes. Problem is this truck's gonna beep at us the whole freaking time because this one's out of air. 90 pounds, we can release our brakes. Okay, so Brandon from Elite Fleet is on his way out here with bolt extractors, or whatever, extractors, yeah. Um, I'm going to, now that we can hold air, now that I also, hold on. I'm not sure if the PTO has ran off the primary tank or the secondary tank, but I'm gonna pull up here anyway. And see if we get lucky here. I don't know if it's lucky or not, it's just how the truck works. I'm not 100% sure on that. Because I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Oh, yep, PTO engaged, so. All right, we got PTO. This is so dumb. Where'd my gloves go? So look at. Yeah, it was really loud when it said, when it did that. I thought I blew a tank open completely. Luckily, the because those are all controlled by air for the remote. Luckily, that's all off the primary tank as well. So I think the secondary is just trailer. I've seen some set up both ways where the accessory stuff is off the secondary tank. Luckily that's not the case here. Okay, we are going to... This is so not the correct way to do it, but whatever. My theory is if it gets the job done, it's the correct way. I think the rain's coming this way. So if I go on this side and stand this way and wipe all these drops off of you, all the rain will hit me in the back and not on uh, your screen. kind of doing ish what we want it's 
pulling off that way. I need to fix that. Just gotta grab it from the other side. Yeah, that uh, that hump was too much for it. It dumped all my air. What'd you do to put it back together? So the line's hanging out here right now. I, I pulled the line off the tank and put a shutoff valve. Oh. <laughs> so the tank has no air in it. The alarm's in there all pissed off going like crazy. So it's just the, the compressor's doing all the work right now? Or? Uh, my primary tank is full. Oh, okay. This is the secondary. So it'll run like that, but it won't be thrilled about it. <laughs> wow, the next door. Now if I... How's it going, Severin? Uh, I called for a real mechanic, and you show up? Yep. I called Nate and bitched him out. I'm like, taking one of my own mechanics? You can't do that. You have too much work to do. You just wanted to come see me. Yeah. You fixed it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Oh, it's wait, go out this way. It's bad. I've been all over here trying to find this fucking thing. Where's your fitting at? I'll grab it. Just threw everything in here during the hailstorm. There it is, there's Teflon tape. And there's one to need. Press wrench. I'm thinking I can thread this Teflon tape, these two together, thread those in, and there's my drain valve and fitting all at one. And then I will tie this down. Oops, backwards. These gloves are going to be junk by the time we're done. Things one way. So I thought you handed it to me the way it went. So I, to, to open it, it goes into the... <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's my luck. Huh? Said you faked me out pretty good. I was like, what? Oh. Jeremy, I never said I was good at this. <laughs> and for those of you, for those of you wondering where that saying came from, because you're not that good at it. I was spotting Jeremy one day. Oh, yeah. That's right. I told him I was I was a spotter and I spotted him right into like the stupidest stuck ever. And he's like, what the hell? I'm like, I never said I was good at this. You're good on that line right there. Oh, except for that rock that I didn't see. <laughs> oh now you're stuck. I know that I'm a terrible spotter, and now you know it too. <laughs> I know very well now. <laughs> I never said I was good at this. <laughs> I completely trusted you. Completely trusted you. Yeah, that was stupid. <laughs> That's your fault. Yeah. yeah that, that was this is sounding like not my problem. <laughs> <laughs> From what I saw, you were good. <laughs> Okay, time to ruin these gloves.
get all this off. Because if I don't, it's going to come off going down the road, and we don't want that. And these gloves are trash after this. Ew. So terrible. Thank you, Severin. Yep. All right, I better get back. Save the day again. Yeah, get back to work, you. Oh, you don't want that, trust me. Okay, dude. Uh, well, get back at it. Thank you. Nice work, guys. Keep it up. Am I going to have to shut that off before I can blow your check valve and put it back in the quick desk? Would you turn that? Uh, yeah, yeah, so PTO's in, so now we will have to shut this off. And then we'll have to drain, don't, yeah, drain the pressure out of that. It was really loud when it broke. Yeah. I hate that sound too. I used to catch, uh, I pull my glad hands off, or a couple times I split one. That's always really fun in the woods. Yeah, I heard the, the, and then, psh, I'm like, son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. And the truck was letting me know because it was losing air really fast. <laughs> and then that goes in there. Yeah. All the way in. I need to replace this line anyway. See that sun yeah, faded? it's getting a little. Uh, I have. Toasty. I have another one at home to put on there. So. Yes, sir. What you got? Now we should be able to start it back up. <laughs> then we will wait for the gauge sweep. Look at that tank's already coming up. Cool. We'll let it air up. We we'll put everything away. This thing is tied down, flagged on the back. It's a mess, but. We cleared so far. We got about six inches of clearance. Yep. how you managed to rip something off there. It's me. <laughs> how do you question me doing something dumb? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take this up and dump it off. Cool. Troy's headed back to the back, so I uh, believe that Pete just picked up the last of everything in the chop shop. We're done. Oh, this once I drop this off, that's it? Killed it. You guys okay. it today. This is yeah. awesome. Do I have a flat tire too? Nope. Maybe the other one? Just all the way. Hopefully it's just sitting on a rock there like that. Okay, all right, we'll go dump this off and then uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow's the fun stuff. Do we have more vehicles to get tomorrow? Should I bring like the wrecker or this or it's, it's clean up? That was it, we literally finished all the vehicles today. How many? Like 37. That's awesome. In one yeah. day? In one day and in like a half day. Like what, five hours, six hours, something like that? Yeah, that is awesome. Yeah. All right, we'll get this out of here. Right yep. Okay, clearly not me, but some of the people here were the right people for the job. Okay, this is still an inhabited portion of the woods we gotta drive through. This guy is burning tarps and carpet and cans and stuff. He threw a tarp on it when I drove through on the way in. It just smoked everywhere. And like Jeremy just said, 37 vehicles we pulled out of here today. So, and it's that many campsites that are gonna get cleaned up tomorrow. So, uh, definitely a lot was done but there's definitely a lot more to do. This is just insane. This is our national forest, like our public lands that we're supposed to be able to come out and enjoy. And it's 
just this, like, horrible. The really sad part is I'm only showing you guys, like, one little section of it. The, the, the other crews were all over the whole rest of these woods, like, miles down that way and the other way. And I was just in one part of it that you guys saw. And, uh you saw that much so the amount of stuff out here is just sad all it is it's just sad a scooter over there oh this poor truck let's go into the car wash after this Actually, I need to buy a pressure washer, is what I need to do. Maybe when I get done with this, I'll go, maybe I'll go to Harbor Freight, buy a pressure washer and take that home with me. And then I can just wash it at home. Get this untied. Okay, got it all untied, so I'll set it down. I'm sitting at a bit of an angle that way, so it's probably gonna slide off the side of the bed and rip my control box off or something. That's how that's how this load is going. I guess if I pull out from underneath it fast enough, I can't do that. That's exactly what it's going to do. Shit. Um, forgot the wheels are turned that way. So when this goes forward, it's going to steer it right off the side. Forklift time. We ain't playing this game. I already broke one thing today. Okay. No parking brake works on this thing. That'll be our parking brake. Get this bed put away. And then we will take a look at what everybody accomplished today. This truck was clean this morning. Uh, 
Okay, so truck is quiet for a bit. Um, let me flip you guys. This is all that was accomplished in the previous cleanups. Um, then this is today's efforts, like just today. That crew absolutely killed it out here. Um, I don't know how many gooseneck trailers and they're putting cars in dump trailers and skid steers, three uh, telehandlers total, uh, two down there and one up here. Yeah, the skid steers, all that stuff. And uh, I'll walk up on the hill here and take them. Boats, burned up chassis, stripped chassis over there. That big old RV that was a total pain, but I got it. This thing I got this morning. And then now all those are about ready to get hauled out and go to scrap. That one was not shot up before it was brought out here. So this whole area is supposed to be closed off to shooting and all that stuff. Clearly though, some people don't follow rules. Amazing, amazing accomplishment though. Trace here with the last camper of the day. It's just gonna wedge there and never come out. I hope it does. The other one barely came out. That's why they call them slide in campers. It's no longer a cab over. <laughs> yeah. That was way too smooth. Way too smooth. Hey. Not nearly enough drama. Load it up and do it again. The other one had more drama in it. I missed that one. I know, Aaron destroyed the back of the trailer. Nice. Got it wedged in there. We had to fork it out because it got stuck on the, on the hooks because he tore it all apart. So that is the last camper of the day. We are gonna head out of here. Thank you guys for watching. Thank everyone like Trey, wherever he went. There he is. And all the other people came out and volunteered today. This isn't even the cleanup day. This is the prep day that we're getting ready for the cleanup. The cleanup is actually tomorrow. We'll all be back out here. Uh, awesome group of people who made all of that happen in six, seven hours, like really fast. Um, bunch of dump trailers, goosenecks, my rollback, Troy's rollback, skid steers, telehandlers, and this isn't even the cleanup day. So. Huge thank you to everyone involved in making this happen. Go check out plsbend.org. I think I'm gonna head to Harbor Freight and buy a pressure washer. So I have one at home because it's, it's needed now. And uh, we will see you guys next time. Oh, the next one will be the actual cleanup day. So we'll see you there. Thank you for watching.